we've just had the first night of Passover in which there was basically a curfew unprecedented on the Jewish population here, forcing people to stay home, forcing them not to see their families. Uh, and Israel's uh, Prime Minister said this was a safety measure, that Israel had learned its lesson from the previous Jewish festival when they hadn't really enforced it. They'd allowed all these parties to go ahead and there was a huge spike in the number of infections. So he said this time nobody is going to see, nobody's going out and you actually literally couldn't leave the house. And that was the only way they could think because it's so, Passover is such a family festival. And so it was that everybody was celebrating the festival of freedom locked into their houses. And with the health minister himself being ultra orthodox, has the tone changed from the government? It's quite interesting with the ultra orthodox health minister because there is there have been accusations that he didn't really follow the instructions of his own um, department, that he did, that he took steps that were against the restrictions. And then he himself uh, became infected with the coronavirus. And he, as a result, the, re the restrictions here are pretty strict. So they were saying that all the people who had come into contact with him then had to go into isolation. That included the Prime Minister, the head of the Mossad, the head of the National Security Council, all the health officials in charge of this crisis had to go home. He'd been in a television studio the night before. Everybody there had to go home. They were calling him the typhoid Miriam of this crisis. Your reaction, Christopher Dickey? Well, I think we've seen this again and again, where people, whether for religious or political motives, decide that they are not going to listen to the social distancing regulations. They're even going to mock them. I mean, the classic case is Boris Johnson, who's still in hospital now after going around in a, in a coronavirus ward and shaking hands with everybody and bragging about, about it.